You guys have probably seen by now at the end of Act 4, there is another giant worm boss that you have to fight. And this one's a little tougher to take down, at least way tougher than the one at the end of Act 3. And I've been trying to fight it solo, but this time, I think I can actually get it. I have a little bit of a strategy this time around. I'm coming in here with the Akimbo WSP swarms, that way I have just non-stop bullets flying at them. And I also brought in the crossbow, and I know it's been nerfed, but just the thermite one has been nerfed. I'm bringing in the gas tip version of it, the stinky crossbow. On the Act 2 worm boss, those gas grenades work really well on them. I know they've been nerfed now, but I think it's worth a try on them. I think they can still do a little bit of damage. And I'll also be looking for some gas grenades here in game. Because right now I got some decoys on, but I want to go in with the gas grenades as well and see if they do anything to them. So we get double the gas on them. But I also brought in a pack of punch two crystals. So I'm throwing that in my WSPs. I brought in a bunch of perks. So let me activate those. So I'm also going to put this to rare. Hopefully we can find a better aether tool later today. And then I also brought in a pack of punch crystal for my crossbow but i still want to get these or at least my swarms up to pack a punch three and i also want to try to stock up on a lot of self revives because i tried the whole like hellhound method because you can spawn in a hellhound there in the dark aether when you're trying out that event but from my experience like the two times that i've spawned the hellhound in regardless of how much like meat i gave it pause that it will always just get taken out by the boss immediately it won't be there to pick you back up so i'm gonna have to get myself back up with all the self revives but if we want to be able to do any of that we need to start grinding up money and a lot of it because pack a bunch punch three is going to cost us 15,000. Getting our crossbow to pack two is going to cost us 10,000. And if we want any sort of self revives, those are going to be 5,000 unless we get them from missions. So we got to get to work. Okay. I've been milking this game for all it's worth. We literally only have 10 seconds left before the storm comes in. I'm about to grab pack a bunch two. Actually, let me grab some self revives since we're right here. How much room do we have? We have room for more, but we have 15,000 left over, meaning that I can still go ahead and buy pack a bunch two on the crossbow. And the only reason why I didn't get it to pack three is because I'm almost positive that regardless of what pack-a-punch level you have it at, you know, after the initial pack-a-punch, that the, you know, the crossbow tip, the bolt, the damage for that does not scale with pack-a-punch. But just in case, pack-a-punch two right in the middle, that's fine. I'm gonna be mainly using the swarms anyways. Now we need to get over to the bad signal thing before the storm takes it over. And there is some altars in this tornado that I kind of found out what they do. But I don't know how to get the items for it. So we're gonna be trying to pay extra attention once we get in here. Zombies, get on a decoy so I can activate this, please, with no interruption. I hate that you have to vote to enter it even if you're playing solo and you activate it let's head on in issues detected there better fucking not be i just set up for an hour but unfortunately i could not get my weapons higher than blue rarity i couldn't find any aether tools i did so many missions didn't really get any above blue and i even tried to take out an ethereal orb and only dropped a blue one so hopefully the blue isn't what holds us back and even if it does we have so many self revives to get us up we should be able to get like a bunch of attempts at this if we want the best chance at take, uh, taking this out we need to break all these seals even immediately we need to speed run this and then a little aether tornado that was right near the portal to get into here each of those little pillars that you have to put stuff in corresponds to these ones here so we got that done this has a security camera in it and this is the electric one so hopefully if we can beat this mission we might be able to get some of the items to get in there eventually let's get the second one done this one is the cryo freeze they really aren't making this easy on me they're sending me like two zombies at a time what is this come on we barely have a dent in this i don't even see a zombie don't do this to me game that should do it. Let's go. Uh, what was the item? This one is the diary, I think, or a bag or a purse, something like that. This time I'll let all these zombies follow me over there. Come on, you fucks. There we go. That's another seal. This one is a pill bottle. The dark aether perks. All right, last one. Let's go. That's it. <gasps> and they dropped a jug. Let's go. That's perfect. Can we even use that here? I don't think they'd drop it if I couldn't. All right, go ahead and spawn in, worm, you big dipshit. Enjoy your time alive because it ain't going to last for long. Eat up, bastard. I'm put on my jug suit. And you went underground. You f you motherfuck. Come on out. Don't you... Nope. Nope, not doing it. Not getting eaten like this. Are we even doing damage to him? Oh, not the laser. Ah, oh, we did a little bit. Fuck. That was very underwhelming. What does our crossbow do to him? It does a slight amount. Not terrible. Well, let me equip my gas grenades. Let's see how he likes these. Okay, it's doing a little bit of passive damage. It's not bad. Ooh, made it out of the way. Let's go. Enjoy the crossbow and some tear gas. Okay, we're getting some of his health down. Ooh. 
Fuck all your orbs. Fuck them. I can't even shoot them. Where'd they go? There they are. Bye, bitch. Oh! Okay, we, we got a little bit of his health down, but this is still insane how much damage he's fucking tanking. Yeah, scream all you want, bitch boy. Go ahead. Charge at me. There it is! Oh, let me out! Cool. We just barely escaped that one. Oh! Laser almost got me. Same with the bite. Not the bite at 87. And you're back underground. Stop doing that. Stay above ground. Fuck. He got me this time. I'm spamming parachute. Come on. I think he ate a zombie too. Whew. Now he's got me tilted. Actually. Oh! Am I... Am I eating again? Let me out. This is why we brought all the self-revives for when he pulls his bullshit like this. I have a gas grenade. I have two of them. Crossbow on top. And your orbs got me, bastard. Fuck, this might not work. Anytime I get up here to get some, like, decent ground on him, he fucking grows underground. Where'd you go? Fine, I'll come back down to bait you out. Hello? Where the fuck is he? No way he left. Are you fucking serious? This is fucking bullshit if he just despawned. Then there's literally no way for me to get out of here. And I didn't even get to, like, fight him. I still have all these self-revives left. This fight isn't over, buddy. This is so fucked up. I set up for over an hour. There he is. All right, I was about to start bitching. I actually was bitching. Now you're about to start it. But why you just disappear for all that time? This is already a timed boss fight. Why do you get to disappear for all that? Like, I get them wanting boss fights to be difficult, but this is just annoying. Oh, yeah, go back underground. Like, you just weren't there. Fuck. He's eating me again? But I taste like dick and balls, huh? My whole meat's in your mouth. Don't matter the rest of my body's there. You just remember that. And he ate me again. I'm pretty sure I'm going down here. Can I do damage to him in here? Don't think so. Next time he, he fucking eats me up like that and I'm not down, I'm throwing a gas grenade in his fucking mouth. And he ate me again while I was shooting at his fucking orbs. Pick what you want me to do. The gas grenades did not go in his mouth, apparently. We still don't even have him to half health. I don't know how I did it before. Oh, and his laser hit me through a building. Sweet. How many self revives are we at now? Two. There are actual Dark Souls balls. Balls? Holy shit. You can tell what I got on my mind. There are actual Dark Souls bosses. More forgiving than this. Are you gonna lunge at me or what? Do something. Get out of the ground, dude. I'm on the beach. All right? I'm right where you want me. Come get me. He's gonna spend eight minutes of this boss fight just underground. Where I can't do any damage to him. If there was Pokemon, I could use Earthquake right now and do double damage. But I bet his bitch ass would be like a flying type or something and just be immune to it. Where are you? Oh, here he is. This was taking a nap, huh? But now we do have him close to half health. Let's get the gas and all of his cracks. I hate this guy so much. Oh, and he fucking one tap laser me. Oh, are you trying to spawn camp me now too? Let me up the hill. You bitch. All right, we'll, we'll go around. I'll take the stairs. Nope, I'll be eaten. Spam parachute, spam parachute. Clean. And he ate me again? What the fuck? He's like comboing me. I'm getting fucking wobbled like this guy's ice climbers. Oh, yo, the zombie knocked me. Sweet. Perfect. We're down to one more self-revive. Oh, actually, no more. My mistake. Are you healing? Are you down there fucking healing? What are you doing? No, it's a swarm of bullshit is what it is. Oh, I think he did heal, actually. He has more health than before. And that's game. I got taken out by all his fucking balls. How are you supposed to kill this thing solo? You're not. You're supposed to team up with nine different people, even though you can't queue with more than three. That's fucking stupid. Well, fuck. That's like two hours of preparation down the drain. Last time I died to this, I just wouldn't hop into the game. Got enough money till I could buy a large backpack and a three-plate vest. The last game, I got enough money so I could pack a punch... My, both my weapons and buy as many self revives as I thought I needed. And now I get nothing. That's fucked up. Even after we got our ass beat here, there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Ink Slasher put up a video of his strategy for taking the Worm Bastard down solo, so I decided to give it a shot. But before we can get back to the boss fight, we need to get set up. So I started using the Tombstone method, where you grind up a bunch of cash and items, and then you take yourself out so you can grab it in the next game. I thought it sounded easy enough, so I hopped in, started grinding, and I crashed. So I start another game and head to my Tombstone, thinking I might have the stuff I crashed with in nope it's what I had when I died against the worm boss. Whatever. So I get back to grinding. I get some good items and crash. Then I hop into another game. Things are going good. I'm getting a decent amount of money doing these cargo delivery contracts. And this, hold on. Let me close my windows. Cox 
cocksucker goes out of his way to ram into me, knocking my car fucking vertical where I'm getting beamed by the helicopter. And they just sit there and watch. Bastards. I still get some decent items, and with five minutes left in the game, I crash again. Next game, I go right for my tombstone. Still the same shit from the boss fight. I get a good amount of money and some items, and I'm actually able to take myself out before crashing this time. We finally have progress. So I play another game, get some good shit, crash. Then I play another game after that, and I'm actually able to grind up a good amount and take myself out. And now we are finally set up enough to take on the worm. Okay, I think it's been literally nine hours since my last attempt. I've put my entire day into getting set up for this, and I just want to take this worm boss down. But I don't even know how many times I've crashed. I, I don't usually rage at games, but I was I was pretty damn close. The only glimmer of hope I have is Ink Slasher's method for doing this solo, and if this works, Ink Slasher, I owe you a hug and a kiss on the cheek, and that's real. You can redeem that at any time. But I brought in my two legendary Aether tools from the battle pass. I brought in two Pack-a-Punch 1 crystals, which don't seem like a whole lot, but just wait till we get to our tombstone. And Speed Cola, just because I feel like I'm going to need it. We're going to need basically every perk, but this is just at least a start. Considering I can't spawn in with a large backpack while doing this tombstone thing. Please have all my stuff in here. Beautiful. Give me that three plate. Give me the large backpack. I'll be taking all these. Putting that in there. I will grab tombstone. And we have 72,000 points to work with. This should be enough to get me all the way up to pack a bunch three on both my guns. It should be enough to fill my backpack with self revives and sentry turrets. And I should be able to buy a few perks along the way. But this has been a culmination of an entire day's work. And if I crash or something happens where I don't get to do the boss fight, whether I win or lose, I'm going to go play fucking Fortnite. But this should not have taken nearly as long as it has. This game really needs to fix the fucking crash crashing issue. I don't think I'm ever going to be as prepared for this as I am now. Nothing's going to fucking stop me here. No goddamn worm. No goddamn crashes. Nothing. Seal one. About to be my bitch. Easiest seal of my life. Seal two. Also going to be made into my bitch. There it goes. Seal three. Ain't nothing to me. And for our final seal, let's get it done. Preferably without going down. Fuck. That's fine. That's why we brought in all the self revise. Oh, and they dropped a the jug for me again. It was meant to be. The down just wanted to clear up space in our inventory for the jug. Okay, but we don't need another one. First one's on the house. That should do it right there. Holy shit, that one was close. I don't know why that one gets so crazy. All right, now come on out, worm bitch. I got a bone to pick with you. So for this strat, we're gonna try to put down some sentry guns. So we're constantly getting damage on them. Again, this is all from Ink Slasher. So shout out to him. And then we move on up here. We could definitely put down more sentries, but I just want to get a few good shots at him. But this balcony here, he cannot hit us. Not with his laser, not by grabbing us, not with nothing. So we can sit up here and just pepper him with damage. The orbs can't even get us from up here. And when he goes underground, we hit him with this. We can still deal damage to him. Because every time he goes underground, he heals. I really hope this shit works. Did not mean to throw that nade. But before we can get cozy up there, I need to place some more turrets down. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Parachute. Get the parachute ready. Come on. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Put a sentry down. Let's put another sentry down. Oh, nobody shoot a fucking laser. Okay, two sentries. I'm gonna save another one to put down later. Oh, fuck. Let's not throw. We don't need to throw. It's not necessary. Let's go back up to our spot. Okay, it's starting to do a little bit here. Just a slight amount. At least we're getting, like, consistent damage. This is so stressful. I want to get this done so bad. Let me grab my jug. Let's see if it'll go down right here. Let's try it out. Give me that. Come on out of your hole. There you go. Yeah, bitch. What's up now? Big fucking gun. What you know about it? Nothing. You don't know shit. You don't know shit about fuck. That's sick. Only thing we need to worry about is running out of ammo here. And I still have 600 bullets to go. So as long as we're shooting our grenade launcher every time he goes under, it should bait him to come back up. This is actually working like a fucking charm. Just taking a while to do the damage necessary. We almost got him to half health. We are starting to get low on ammo though. Slightly. Our grenade launcher is almost out completely. We're gonna have to go down there. I do not feel bad about cheesing this bastard at all. I tried doing it the real way. Oh! Oh my god. That was so fucking close. I thought he was actually going to get me. I thought I was lied to. My life just flashed before my fucking eyes. All right, but we need ammo now. Please don't eat me while I'm down here. Oh, you might. 
Ooh, run. Okay, I think we're good. We made it. We made it back. But he's been underground for a while. Stop healing. Get out of your fucking hole. There you go. Anytime his armor breaks, he's just going right back under like a big bitch. Insta kill. Does this do more damage to him? I would hope so. I'm trying to like wall bang the, the orbs underneath me because sometimes they are actually hitting me. That's the only thing that can. But we got him less than half health with 12 minutes left. This is looking mighty doable. Just kick rocks. I'm making it out of here. I'm leaving the fucking dark aether. You cannot keep me here. The fuck a team of six? The fuck doing this Treyarch's way? I'm doing it my way. Parentheses ink slasher's way. I'm all out of uh, grenade launcher again. That's fine. We can make it back down there. We can do a quick little ammo run. It ain't no thing. And I'm down to my last clip. But actually, it's a magazine. Actually, maybe it's the other way around. Either way, shut up. I lied. I had one more clip magazine left. I'm just covering my bases to still piss you guys off. Yeah, you can try to grab me if you want, bastard, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm going right back up to my hidey hole. This is fucking awesome. I told you I was gonna fucking take you down, worm. I warned you. I let you know. You should have came prepared. I'd be so pissed if they, they adapted. This worm fucking adapted to the strat. And I swear if they patch this too, then they really fucking hate solo players. The other stuff maybe could be a coincidence. If they do it to this, then just know they hate you. The world's out to get you. Oh, he's so close to fucking dying. Please. Come on. Only a little bit more. Don't you go back underground. You take this beating like a, the worm you are. Oh, he, I think he has like one fucking health. You get back up here. Don't you die underground either. I want to see you fall. There it is. Come on. Sit the fuck down, you little bitch. Let's go. I'm so glad I spent all day doing this. Oh, it all paid off. Thank fuck. Give me a good reward for it too, you bastard. What do we got on the ground? Ray gun kit. I'll take that. Gold skull. Sure, why not? Refined Ethereum crystal. Not even a flawless. Cheap bastard, dude. In a mortar strike. Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. It's fucking raining your blood. Oh, that scared me. And now we have a sealed leather bound diary. Icy mist covers the book. Like, I give a fuck. Oh, and we still had all these self revives to go. Actually, kind of easy. They need to buff this boss. Let me get the fuck out of here. Oh, this is the cutscene everybody's been raving about. If this isn't Maxis, I don't know who this is. Dr. Jensen needs a perk. Head hurting. Need that Dark Aether Vicodin. What happened over here? Is she going into psychosis or is this real? Oh, he's sleep. Oh, what? Why do the zombies all have different eyes? And that's Weaver! I'm sure it was the rest of the Requiem crew, but I didn't catch it until Reaver. Oh, and she's kind of slaying right now. She got like that Walking Dead plot armor. I love how the zombies are coming at her like Assassin's Creed one by one, so she can just parry them. <gasps> Not ramming off! Oh, damn. No fucking way, dude. Okay, was that a dream or what? He's on the radio. Oh, she was looking up all the all the old boys. Max is still classified though. Oh, it's still going. That ain't it. Oh, uh, yep. Nope, that was it. Thank God I'm done with that. Really could have gave me something better here, though. Especially just a weapon charm. Are you fucking kidding me? Oof. But the deed is done. Oh, we got the fully loaded calling card. Because we had two Pack-A-Punch 3 legendary weapons that we made it out with. Literally wouldn't have been able to do that without the two legendary tools from the battle pass. But since this has literally taken up my whole day, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Fuck the worm. Rest in piss, you stupid piece of shit. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.